You know, is that a pro? Like, is, should Golden State be held up as a model in the league, or are they an aberration? <laughs> Let me just talk about us, which is that we are going to do everything we can to get Banner 8, 18 up there. People know us and know me for 20 years, and it will continue. And we'll try to get another one up there. And so we're going to work, you know, within the rules and not break the rules. Uh, and we are going to, uh, our first priority is winning. You got to put a roster together that's got youth and expertise, or, you know, youth and uh, experience. A little younger with juice and energy, a little older with veteran, you know, savvy, um, you know, is one good model. But accumulate, you know, you need your top eight guys, nine guys in the playoffs to take you all the way and make sure your top nine is there. And uh, we're going to make that the strongest top nine we can possibly make it. That's really. It's what Ime and Brad and everybody have agreed to, and that's what we're going to do. One of the issues with getting to a, a championship game and not uh, closing on, on winning the title is it can tend to leave a mark. Teams can struggle to get back. How will you uh, attempt to fight that complacency or whatever it is that can set in with some of these teams that almost get to the mountaintop and then struggle to get back there? Yeah, I mean, you've got to, the guys have to find it within themselves with the hunger. I know. Um, I mean, I know what I've seen and what I believe is going to happen, but that's, it, you know, we need to, it needs to happen. But I, I take some comfort in, I mean, I, I, you know, reading the graphics on the screen, you know, when you, when, you know, in the game commentary, when it says, you know, the first NBA championship for MJ, Kobe and others at certain ages, you know, and, and, you know, our guys are younger, but we can't keep harping that our guys are younger. We just need to go win the thing. And we almost did it. I mean, we were in the mix. We got beaten. Um, my, my, you know, I, I was meeting with basketball Friday morning at 8 a.m. Um, out in Brighton. So, uh, yeah, Thursday night was the game and Friday morning at eight w was our first meeting. So, I mean, we're, we're trying to turn the page and just, and just build. And I, you know, I have a lot of confidence in these guys. The, the character of this team is very, very strong and the desire is strong. We love the roster. Nobody wants to, we want to tweak it as opposed to blow it up, obviously. So we're going to see if there's any tweaks that make sense. When you, um, a couple of times when you've referred to the, the finals, you said they beat us. Is there any part of you that feels like you beat yourselves? <laughs> well, I'll beat myself up about, about anything. But, no, I, I feel like we brought a lot. We might have been, uh, I, I don't know. I don't really want to break down. It's too soon for me to break down the game, i got to be honest. I mean, I, I normally would glad to talk to you about that type of stuff. I've not gone back and watched uh, game six or game five. Uh, so... It's, that's just kind of how it is, but, uh, but we'll get to it. I just think, I think we got beaten, but I mean, watching Curry from 10 feet away, make some of those shots, they were, you know, insane. So I, I'm very comfortable starting with that and saying they did a good job and they beat us with you guys getting this far this year, you know, the Warriors winning it, even the bucks last year. Do you think this maybe impacts the way that other teams go about constructing their rosters? I guess, in other words, do you think the, the era of the super team thing might be done? I don't know. Uh, I, I do know that continuity means something to coaches like Brad, historically a great coach, and Ime, you know, an up-and-coming head coach. I mean, I think they really are focusing on continuity. And then you see the the Warriors with four recent wins, and you see, you know, back in the day the Spurs, and you see the Lakers, the Celtics back in the day. So uh, continuity is clearly a good thing. We love our guys, and we're just looking to add on. When um... – you know, when you talk to, to uh, Brad Stevens and Ime, Ime Udoka, can you give us any indication what the dynamic is like generally, Wick? And I'm not, I'm not looking for anything specific, just as much as how much do you get involved or not get involved in basketball decisions or in, and question who they want to bring in, or do you leave the basketball decisions right. to them? Right. It's basically, I mean, I used to be a rower, and, you know, everybody's in the boat and everybody has an oar is basically the first thing that came to mind. It's just a metaphor or whatever it is which is that we're just on the same page and on the same team. And so my role with my ownership group is to say, what do you need and go for it. And their role is to say, Oh my God, we need this. Uh, you know, we figured out a way to pry this guy away from a team and here's what we'd have to give up and you know, all of that. So that, that I'm not doing that. I'm not doing the strategizing on what players, but I'm hearing the list of players and hearing what it would take and just trying to get my head around uh, what it's going to do to the team, you know, if we're trading a major piece with that, you know, which we're not, but 
so anyway, it's my, my role in that boat is, you know, I got an oar uh, rowing hard, but, you know, basically the role is uh, what do you need? Uh, there's been reports in the past. I know Brad Stevens has shot them down, but there's been reports uh, during the season that other teams may be interested in him. If he were interested in coaching again, ha- have you been asked, have teams requested permission, have teams asked about talking to interviewing Brad Stevens as a coach? Uh, I'll answer at least the second one. No, uh, haven't been asked that. Um, but Brad can speak for himself, I think, much better than on all of that. When I proposed to him to become president of basketball, which it was that direction, I proposed it to him. Uh, it took him a day of thinking, and then he said enthusiastically, yes, I don't think anything's changed. But I don't need to speak for Brad in that. I'm very comfortable that Brad is very happy in his job, and he'll let us all know if he isn't. Okay, there are a couple of other things we want to throw at you, independent of, um, you know, the playoffs and the way things went down, Wick. <laughs> No, now, and look, you know, say throw at me or ask me. No, so I say throw at you, but but I say throw at you because I, I don't think they're overly controversial or anything. I just think throw they. Away, dude. Give it, give it your best. Okay, well, so for example, uh, you know, Jalen Brown, I think, is first eligible to start negotiating his extension with you in the fall. I mentioned this earlier. Is that something that you, the organization, would like to broach with him? as early as possible. And I don't, you know, I, I, from what I understand, it's probably more beneficial for him to wait, but has that even entered the discussion at all yet? Is that something you've discussed? Yeah, that pitch was just a little high and outside, just a bit outside. But um, <laughs> so we're not, we're not going to, as Bob Euchre would say, we're not going to uh, uh, swing at that one right now. We're just going to let uh, contract matters as always be, you know, between us and the player and the representation and not public. Okay. And then uh, there was some stuff written over the uh, during the course of the season about the idea of having the All Star Game here in Boston again. It's been a long, long time since Jones has it ever actually been here. Uh, it has, but it's been a while. Okay, yeah. it's been a long, long time. Yeah. Is that something you'd like to do? Yeah, we're going to move it to June or July and then have it. No, we're going to. We are. We would love to have it, and we've talked about it. And I, you know, I think the. Uh, the willingness of the city and the convention center and, of course, our partners at the Garden and everything, it all, you know, it all has to come together. But we have talked to everybody and sort of said we really love to do this, and I think there's a there's good momentum for trying to get it done. It's not done. It has to be planned out. You have to block out all sorts of space and hotels and make sure everybody else is comfortable. So, you know, it's not something that we can just host in our practice facility, obviously. So we've got a bunch of partners looking at it, and, we, and we're talking to the NBA, and the vibes are good.